Hello, this is Nace CSS for Xamarin and Xamarin Forms. We'll be showing you just how easy it is to edit apps uh, with Nace CSS. So the first thing is it's simple plain text, so that means it's easy to learn, easy to copy and paste and, and reuse and manage. Another cool thing you can do is to reuse your style on multiple views. So here I've, I've styled the email field, but I can target the password field in the same way. Not only that, but with Xamarin Forms, I can restyle my Android project with almost the same CSS. So you can reuse your CSS on different platforms. The next cool feature is you can develop from the cloud. Um, here we can see sort of live editing. So you enter the CSS on the left and it updates in your app in real time. This can be any app anywhere. So it could be sat on your desk, but it could also be your manager's app. It could be your test iPad. The next feature I want to talk about is the, the drag and drop GUI. So this enables you to make um, changes with a sort of a more intuitive interface. Say for example, layout styling or HTML text changes. You can also enter CSS here for this particular view. So users get your changes when you publish them. Here's the wizard to publish your changes. And as soon as you've done that, through the cloud interface, it's published to all your apps everywhere. So now I'm just going to reopen up the app. And boom, the changes are applied there. Downloaded to any user anywhere. So the next cool feature I want to talk about is A-B testing from the cloud. Um, here I'll be setting up an experiment on a login button. The cool thing about this is that you don't need to code your A-B tests into your app before you release. These can be all driven from the cloud with no setup required when you're developing the app because all it is is native CSS below and it can inject certain native CSS for some people and other people see different native CSS. So it gives you the full control of what you're used to from the developer environment, but we allow this feature on top. And at the end of um, the experiment, or when you've started the experiment, you see the results here as I'm showing you. Cool, thanks for listening and get in touch with us on Twitter.